morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are from the whole wide world. Yes, it's your man Pixie with another interview with. And today's special guest is Kim Discovering History. How are you, my friend? Oh, I'm very well, thank you, Chris. And it's great to be joining you today. That's brilliant. Now, I've asked this near enough all my subscribers or my interviewees so i'm going to ask you as well i'm going to carry on asking it what is your youtube channel all about okay what's my youtube channel all about i'm a great lover of history uh, i've been like that virtually all my life I, I love historical stuff you know from castles to old airfields uh, I love exploring places like that. Um, but there's an awful lot out there that doesn't actually come to the public's eye. Um, one I recently did uh, of Harrington Airfield, which is quite local to me, uh, I was surprised at the number of people who didn't realise that that used to be uh, a nuclear site. So it's, it's doing things like this that uh, bring it to the public's eye uh, to, to make them, you know, to let them understand that, that there's more to than what you know a lot of the media report so uh, yes that, that is my interest and I enjoy it very much right then Kim we met down at um, Birmingham at the I think it was the NEC uh, at the Joe show what did you think of the NEC Joe show because to me it were a bit pants it weren't very good in my opinion um loads to do for the kids yeah brilliant but for us adults now it wasn't my cup of tea and a bit of waste of money so what did you think of the uh Drow show a couple of years ago down at the nec okay what do i think about the drone show uh 2018 if i recall december time i think it was um the one thing that stood out for me uh, in the drone show was the opportunity to meet other drone users uh, especially the drone seekers uh, group and uh, meeting yourself uh, Sean uh, Matthews the founder of uh, drone seekers who's now uh, doing his expat in Mazaron full-time um, yes and other members of the group as well it was fantastic sharing ideas and such the drone so drone show uh, particularly was not as high as I was expecting it to be. Uh, yes, there was the, the, the odd um, celebrity thrown in to sort of boost things up a little bit, but to me, um, there wasn't enough drones and a lot of other stuff that wasn't, in my eyes, um, appealing. And yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, I, I suppose really it was a bit pants, as you call it, Chris. Um, it could have been better, maybe in years to come. Uh, it will get better. I've not heard anything yet. Uh, uh, the, the one big danger is, Chris, is that it becomes a commercial issue and not a hobbyist issue. Because at, at the end of the day, we have commercial and hobbyist alike. Like myself, uh, I, I'm a hobbyist and occasionally do the commercial work. But, you know, it, it, it's, it needs to be that uniform thing for everyone who wants to take up uh, flying drones. The NEC. Now, I know you've got a drone. People who've not discovered your channel before might not you know you've got a drone. So the question I'm going to ask you for the other people to find out is what drone and cameras have you got that you use for your filming? Okay, what equipment do I have uh, for filming? Um, obviously, I have a drone. In fact, I have three drones. Uh, my first drone that I actually obtained uh, a few years ago was the Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian. A fantastic drone, uh, awesome pictures, and that was my go-to drone. Um, then I obtained uh, another drone and it was the Mavic 2 Pro. Beautiful little drone, 
take some awesome pictures the the, the video is outstanding the, with your one inch sensor um, amazing little drone amazing uh, and then last year I purchased the uh, Inspire 2 which is a, again another fantastic beast of a drone you know uh, you've got your, your large optics uh, on the drone to take some micro four third pictures photos video you know the quality is just outstanding um, I would say my 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 cameras I started off which is the one I'm using now which is the Lumix G80 uh, that was my uh, startup camera that I used um, to, to primarily take uh, fit, uh, photos not so much on the video side uh, then I, I actually purchased the Osmo Pocket which is a brilliant little camera to take with you you know if you're going through rough terrain or, or, or anywhere where you don't you want to be a bit less conspicuous and you've got this little camera that is you know fantastic stability um, that would say is a brilliant camera um, of course now um, I've sort of moved up the scale because I'm enjoying the photography side and this ground video side as well as doing uh, all my aerial photography um, I've now invested in this beast um, this is the the Lumix S1H uh, professional cinema uh, camera and it's absolutely brilliant I've not had a chance to go out and use it yet obviously because of the lockdown but when I do get the chance um, I shall be uh, putting it through its paces so hopefully when the time comes you'll be seeing some uh, some video using that I've got a little Osmo action as well um, my son tends to use that more than anything he, he, when he's out there he, he, you know he's doing some filming he likes to uh, use that doing a bit of filming for me um, but yeah there's other bits and bobs uh, that I've got you know that comes accessories and stuff but that's primarily uh, what, I, what I've got equipment wise How long have you been doing YouTube? How long have I been doing YouTube? Hmm. My goodness me. Uh, now then, let's see. I think my first YouTube that I've ever put on uh, was a snowy scene back in uh, 2009. Um, I filmed a very short clip. I, I, in fact, I haven't got it with me, which is unfortunately uh, fortunate. Um, it was a snowy scene, and that was back in 2009. So really, I suppose 2009 it started. Um, it became more <clears throat> uh, more regular you know, putting YouTube on YouTube uh, about three years ago uh, and the one particular uh, item I put on YouTube was a hot air balloon going over um, over a busy main road at very low altitude um, I put it on YouTube didn't really think much of it you know I just put it on and uh, before I knew it <clears throat> about a week later it got 16,000 hits uh, the news media have been in touch and all sorts of things and uh, <laughs> it kind of spiraled and went viral from there um, it wasn't that actually that thing that, that um, inspired me to carry on doing YouTube uh, it was basically when I started doing drone uh, drone flights um, that uh, kept me uh, going right up to this day you know and I, I enjoy it immensely letting you know letting the, the viewers see some things that they otherwise wouldn't normally see what drone or camera equipment would you like the most okay my favorite drone and this might quite surprise you it's not my Inspire 2 uh, but it's my Mavic 2 Pro I just love it it is so versatile easy to set up takes stunning photography stunning videography um, it is an absolute amazing all-rounder uh, there's, there's no no comparison to getting it up set up in speed uh, obviously the quality uh, is not going to be up there with the Inspire and probably not as much with the Phantom 4 Pro but for image quality 
and speed of getting it up in the air uh, and, and you know it's just a fantastic all-round drone that produces good quality imaging so I would say my um, yes my DJI Mavic 2 Pro is my favorite do you get any of your family members to help you filming or do they participate in your videos okay do any of my family members uh, partake uh, yes the answer to that is yes uh, my very first video that I actually uh, done with the Phantom 4 Pro Inspire uh, sorry Phantom 4 Pro uh, Obsidian um, was of the of the viaduct and at the very start of that my daughter um, did a little twirl at the very start uh, she accompanied me uh, on filming this and she was very good well behaved um, and so yes, so at the very start, the very start was uh, my daughter. She she uh, she actually enjoy, enjoyed that. Um, my son now tends to sort of accompany me with uh, doing any droning or filming, mainly because he's very good with the camera. It, it'll, you know, he'll hold the camera uh, very good. He knows what to do. So and he's he's what 30, 13 this year. So. Um, he does like to join in. Uh, apart from that, uh, there's my father-in-law, who now accompanies me on a regular basis to when we do film shoots. Uh, he's a very keen photographer. And um, yes, yeah, so pretty much that's it. There's no one else now uh, who, who comes. My daughter tends to do other things now. She's sort of going, you know, she, she wants to do a girly thing. So. Uh, so yes, I, I, my son is a son, and my father-in-law the the ones who who stay with us now. You know, who carry on uh, joining me on the shoots. If there was any particular YouTuber in the world, which one of those would you like to collab with? Okay, my favourite YouTuber. Um, that's a difficult one, that is, Chris. That's a sneaky one. Um, okay, I'm going to be up front with you. My favourite um, drone uh, YouTuber, who I watch uh, quite a bit, and that's, of course, Ken Heron, someone you've actually interviewed, Chris. Uh, love his shows. Uh, he inspired me uh, way back, um, you know, in the, in the drone industry and as a hobbyist especially a hobbyist uh, in a light-hearted way as Ken does he's very good um, there is a, someone else <clears throat> who I've not actually heard of from quite a while now his name's John Twist and I love just love watching his his flights um, uh, yeah so really I suppose <clears throat> and of course yourself Chris you know what I mean we've still got to meet up and do that uh, <laughs> we've still got to go uh, I've, I'm meaning to come up to your way and uh, and do some flying together and some photography that would be an awesome day so there you go you're on the same level as Ken Heron all right but uh, yeah yes that's um, that's basically it so uh, everyone has their favorite don't they with regards to your YouTube channel, where would you like it to be in 10 years time? Where would I like to see my YouTube channel in 10 years? Uh, yeah, very good question actually, Chris. N no one knows. Uh, I would like to see more subscribers um, and I would like to, to have more viewers, just like I think anybody who does uh, YouTube uh, creations you know we want to increase our viewers and uh, subscriptions but at the end of the day um, providing people are happy uh, with what they're seeing and uh, you get those nice wonderful comments you know then that's that's really the magic isn't it because at the end of the day you're bringing some uh, happiness into someone's life um, you, you, you're bringing stuff that they wouldn't otherwise see uh, it's, it's, it's all about um, not quantity but quality how have you been coping with the lockdown with not being able to go out and about to do your videos 
Uh, yes, this lockdown is presenting its problems, Chris. Um, as with everybody, we all have to uh, uh, listen to what they say. We all have to stay indoors, stay safe. Uh, as frustrating as it is for everybody, not just me, um, for anyone, especially those who are running a, a business, um, it's it's extremely frustrating, I know, uh, and I'm we're struggling. I mean, I've got two children at home. Uh, we have to keep busy. I'm actually a key worker, so I'm still uh, still going out there to do to do work. But um, all I can do is just take my drone up in the garden, uh, do a few manoeuvres uh, to sort of you know keep the keep the cogs turning. Uh, but that's pretty much it, and um, I'm just looking forward to the day we can get back to normal. All right then, Kim, that is all the questions I've got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me. That's been a pleasure. Pleasure, Chris, uh, joining you today. I've enjoyed it immensely. It's uh, fantastic, yeah. Right, guys, that is another video done. So thank you very much. Kim's channel shall be in the description below. Go and click on it, have a look. If you like it and you like what you see, please consider hitting that big red button and also liking and commenting on his videos. And if you're new around here and you've just seen me for the first time and you enjoyed this video interview, why don't you consider hitting my big red button, liking and sharing. That'd be absolutely awesome. All right then, guys, that's it for now. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.